a wise man found peace in the practice of saying nothing, leaving the gossiper with no other choice but to fabricate gossip about a wise man saying nothing. We are social beings. When you interact with people, somewhere down the road, you're bound to encounter gossip. You could be in an environment where people around you indulge in gossip. You could be tempted to join in, just to fit in. You may find that gossiping is a healthy distraction from your mundane routine. You may even find it interesting listening to gossip and participating in it. You could choose to think that your involvement is harmless. That is so far from the truth. Gossip is part of a toxic culture. If you're not careful, it will grow on you. Before you realize it, it will become a way of life. Every time you gossip, or listen to gossip, you are affirming that that gossip is worth your precious time. The people you're gossiping with are likely to gossip about you to others. If they can do it to one person, what's stopping them from doing it to you? The same goes for you too. Listening to gossip is not a distraction or a source of entertainment. You are nurturing toxic behavior just by listening to gossip. Is that your purpose in life? By choosing to gossip, you compromise your credibility and integrity. You compromise your character. Is that how you plan to live your best life? On the flip side, if people are gossiping about you, it shows that they don't value their time. It shows that they don't respect themselves enough to respect you. You represent aspects of themselves that they are just not happy about. They could be insecure, they could be jealous, they could lack self-worth. Choose not to listen to gossip. Choose not to gossip. Choose not to let gossip get to you. This is tough, especially in a work environment. Sometimes ignoring gossip could trigger more gossip. Confronting gossipers could intensify gossip. It's your judgment call. It's up to you to decide how much gossip you wish to tolerate. Though you can do your best to ignore gossip or not let it get to you, if it persists, you are likely to get affected. Be honest with yourself about how much you are actually affected by gossip. Do you have peace of mind? Are you able to function productively? Is gossip affecting other aspects of your life? Can you do something to minimize the gossip? If not, ask yourself, what it would cost you to remain in a situation which is consumed by gossip culture. Is it worth it? I guess not. If push comes to shove, weigh your options, plan your exit, and leave for a more positive environment. Wherever you go, wherever you live, Keep in mind that there will always be people who gossip. You can't completely avoid gossip. It's a question of how much gossip you can handle 
without letting it negatively affect you. It's a question of how firmly rooted you are in your worth. It's a question of how sensitive you are to what others say about you, especially those who don't matter to you. Do your inner work. Fortify yourself against gossip. Prioritize yourself, your life, and your progress. This will help you maintain your focus on what's most important to you. You have no control over the choices and behavior of others. You can have complete control over your choices and actions if you choose to. Ignore gossip. Discourage gossip. Refrain from gossiping. If you cherish your peace of mind, choose to ignore all gossip. If you value your integrity, choose to refrain from gossiping. 